Intercompany transactions are used to process transactions between companies. This demonstration will review the setup required in each company in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Here is a general journal entry to demonstrate how an intercompany transaction works. Company CEU is going to transfer an advertising expense to Company CEE. The advertising expense account in Company CEU will be credited and the advertising account in Company CEE will be debited. Each company will have an intercompany account that is used for the offset of the transaction to keep each company balanced. When entering the transaction, the user will see a credit to the advertising expense and a debit to the advertising account. But when the transaction is posted, Microsoft Dynamics AX will create two entries, one into each company. Each company that will be used for intercompany transactions must have the same setups completed. The setup required is found in the Basic and General Ledger modules. In the Basic module setup, a number sequence to be used for intercompany transactions must be set up. In the General Ledger module, create a journal name for the intercompany transactions. Set up a ledger account or accounts to be used for posting. Set up intercompany accounting. And finally, verify that each company has the same currencies defined. Creating a unique journal and sequence number are not required, but they help to differentiate intercompany transactions. The standard general journal for daily transactions can also be used. Create a unique number sequence so that intercompany journals can easily be recognized. The number sequence will be linked to the intercompany journal. The intercompany journal name is created in General Ledger Setup for journals. The journal must be set up as daily and should use the intercompany number sequence that was created earlier. The same journal name must be created in each company that will be processing intercompany transactions. Intercompany offset accounts must be created in the chart of accounts. Two accounts can be created if debits and credits will be posted into separate accounts. Otherwise, just one account needs to be created. Intercompany offset accounts must be created in each company that will be processing intercompany transactions. Intercompany accounting option in the general ledger is used to identify the journal and the intercompany accounts to be used for processing intercompany transactions. List each company that the currently active company will process transactions. Enter the intercompany offset accounts for the currently active company. In this example, company CEU is our active company. Enter the intercompany journal name for the company listed in the table. In this example, company CEE is the company listed in the table. This setup must be completed in each company that will be processing intercompany transactions. In the exchange rate maintenance of the general ledger, verify that each company has the same currencies defined. Once these setups have been completed in each company, you are ready to enter intercompany transactions.